Okay, so welcome to my Buzzword Readathon vlog. To be completely honest, I did film an intro yesterday, which was Monday, the first day of the readathon. Uh, but I decided I need to be more concise or this vlog will be ridiculously long because I just finished my Readorama vlog and it was longer than I expected it to be. So, conciseness. I, I will leave all the details to the Buzzword Readathon down below if you don't know what it is and you're interested. But the main goal is to read books that start with when, who, what, where, how, I missed one, but all those kind of words. Um, so the main book that I have for this is What Becomes of the Broken Hearted, which is the sequel for Once Were Warriors, which is a book that a classic New Zealand film was based on. I read that recently. I've done a wrap up of it. I'll link a video somewhere around here. This is the sequel um, which follows the father who was the perpetrator of a lot of the domestic violence in the first book and I'm hoping he's going to get some kind of redemption arc. Hopefully. So I have started this. Um, it is actually only 216 pages however the text is tiny and there's so much on every page that I honestly feel it's really about 400 pages and also the writing is quite difficult to get through but I'm going to try and read as much of this as I can today. I did have plans for today but it's turned out to be a lovely cold and grey day so I'm going to do some errands and some housework and try and fit in a decent amount of reading around that. So this one we will do. Also just quick update of what I read yesterday. So yesterday I managed to read 12 pages of this which is not very much but you know it's a start. I got distracted because this turned up in my mailbox that is Shades of Magic The Steel Prince by V. Schwab. Um, this is like an offshoot of the Shades of Magic series um, where you've got all the different Londons which all have different amounts of magic including our own Grey London which has no magic. Um, this follows, it's kind of like a prequel, it follows the father of one of the main characters from the main series. I read it yesterday and I'm, I have such mixed feelings about it. Um, I guess I'll do a wrap up at some point and talk more detail but in general it's a little bit hard to follow. There were some elements that I really liked and I did really enjoy being back in the world so I don't know mixed feelings but I love it. I don't know. Also another thing I started reading yesterday for this readathon because that that book doesn't really count in the readathon. There's no there's no, there's definitely none of the buzzwords on that one, but I read it during the buzzword readathon, so it counts for something, right? Also, I started reading What Happened That Night by Sandra Block. Uh, well, I started listening to this on audiobook while I was driving around yesterday. I'm going to go for a walk momentarily and listen to more of it. Um, I'm only on chapter two. I listened to like 20 minutes yesterday. So I don't know much about what it's about. Um, there is a woman who is going to this suicide survivors support group because a year ago exactly she tried to kill herself. Um, I, I don't know anything more than that really but I'll let you know when I know. Uh, it's got what in it so that's why we picked it up. To be honest I looked at my library for available audiobooks that had any of the buzzwords in it and there were very few that I was interested in reading. So it's pretty much this one and this one are the only real books I have that fit the buzzword readathon but I'm going to try and sneak some others in. You'll see. Um, I guess that is a, again a much longer intro than I meant to do but Oh well, that's what we've got. Um, I will check in with you guys a bit later. Hey, so it is the end of buzzword. Hey, so it is the end of day two. Today I didn't do that much reading, but I did some more surprise unplanned reading. So basically, this morning, this afternoon, um, I I'm not entirely sure what time. I lost track of time today. 
but I went to get a blood test and the queue was forever long so it took quite a long time and I didn't want to listen to my audiobook because obviously I needed to hear when my number was called but I hadn't taken my physical book along with me but I did just before I went drop stuff in at the library to pick up a book that I had requested which is this this one um it's called a matter of fact talking truth in a post-truth world i think i saw this on twitter and it looked kind of interesting it's pretty short considering i think it's like if we take out all the notes it's about 160 something pages and it's like a little tiny book um and the the text is actually big unlike my other one uh, so i read about 30 pages of that while i was waiting for my blood test um maybe i'll I don't know when I'll finish this. It wasn't planned at all. Um, we'll see. Um, also, I really only got a small chance this afternoon to read a little bit of this. I think I just read one chapter, so I'm now on page 20. However, I have about two hours till I need to be asleep, so I'm just going to like dig in for those two hours and focus on finishing this off. I did also manage when I was walking to my blood test and stuff, um, managed to listen to some more of what happened that night. So I've got about six hours left of this. Um, it's a bit clearer now what this is about. I wasn't really that clear before. So it's quite heavy. Uh, it's about this girl who was raped, but she was drunk at the time. She doesn't really remember a lot of it, but it made her feel really awful. She attempted suicide and that's why she's in this suicide survivors group. Um, a year later, it's like the anniversary of her suicide and a video gets published of the rape. So she decides to get revenge. It's, um, yeah, I'm actually feeling quite engaged in it, but it's a little bit disturbing. Um, I should be able to finish that tomorrow, hopefully. But for now, I'm going to focus on finishing this one because uh, I just need to do it. Good morning. So I'm not really sure what I've got to say in this update that's at all interesting, but it's the start of a new day or getting close to the middle of a new day. Uh, last night I did try to read this for quite a decent amount and I think I got through about 30 pages. I swear each one of these pages is worth at least two pages just because of the font size and because of the way that it's written being so difficult to get through. And I am struggling with this in general just I think because in the first book it follows quite a few characters but they're all people from this single family and so it's all part of a single story whereas here we're jumping around all sorts of different people within this community and their stories aren't really interrelated at all and so every time you kind of get into the flow of one particular character we jump to another one so that's making it difficult as well so today i don't have that much to do although there's a lot i want to do so i decided what i'm going to do because i really need to just get through this i'm going to do the thing where you read one chapter and then you go and do something productive and then you read another chapter that kind of thing um so far i got through two chapters this morning so now i'm on page 88 i mean we're we're making progress but it's still a long way to go. This afternoon I do have a hospital appointment and I'm going to walk down even though it's about a half hour walk to the hospital but walking is good for you and also will give me a chance to listen to my audiobook. Um, and in the waiting room I will probably read this as well because I expect there to be a long wait because there's normally a long wait at the hospital. My doctor is very popular so takes a while to see them it's just a regular catch-up thing it's no big deal um so hopefully i'll read a lot in the waiting room as well and maybe maybe we could even finish this today that's that's my goal is to finish this today good morning just want to do a quick update before i go out we're gonna go to the beach me and my mum and my sister so probably I won't get any reading done then but last night I meant to give you guys an update last night but I really wanted to finish this book before I did the update 
and it ended up being really late before I finished it and I just was too tired to bother so I did finish this though I'm so glad it's done I have to say I don't think it was as good as the first book and the first book like the writing was annoying this book the writing was annoying I guess the same kind of messages were there about you know, it being important to overcome your pride and how a lot of violence comes from people being so wrapped up in their own self-image. And Jake does kind of learn not to be such a loser um, by overcoming his pride. And I guess just getting involved in the community and being connected with people, which was the message from the first book. But I don't feel like we got enough of Jake in this book to really follow his journey. We didn't really get full redemption. Like, in my opinion, the redemption was rushed into kind of the last chapter. Um, I would have liked to have seen more of that. There was just a lot of these two gangs and I didn't really enjoy that part of the story or think that it really added much. So... I guess overall it was a disappointment, but it was probably about what I expected, just except not enough Jake. So that's done, 216 pages, that was very painful to get through. I did also yesterday in walking around finish off what happened last night, I've already returned the audiobook to the library because somebody else might want it. I did think it was good, I enjoyed it, it was quite intense. I ended up the last half an hour I actually finished after I got home but I didn't want to stop listening because uh, I just wanted to see it wrapped up. Um, I liked the romance, um, the main girl has a romance with the, this Asian guy who has Asperger's um, so that was I think done quite well. Uh, I did think there was kind of like a it's a thriller so there's a twisty kind of thing at the end I thought it was very unlikely, unrealistic, unnecessary, annoying, but if it hadn't happened I probably would have been like, well what was the point of that? So yeah, I mean thrillers aren't normally something I, like I enjoy them but I don't normally find them my favourite books, so I thought it was okay. I considered giving it four stars. But I think in the end I went with three stars. I see a lot of other people have given it four stars. But I decided maybe 3.5. You know? Like it was it was quite good. Like on the high end of like average. Anyway, I'm off to the beach because it is a beautiful sunny day outside. Um, maybe I'll share some footage with you guys and I'll catch up later this afternoon and I decide what I'm going to read next. Okay, so it is seven o'clock already. I just woke up from a nap. Can you tell? I can tell. Um, we went to the beach, got home. I got home I think about four and then I had a nap and I mucked around. And I get the feeling bedtime is gonna come much quicker than I want because I've got a few more things I need to do tonight including packing for tomorrow because I'm going away for tomorrow night. So, just to check in, um, on the way back from the beach we stopped at some op shops because my sister likes to go to op shops and I got some books. My sister is a bad influence. She made me buy books when I shouldn't be buying books but I decided that in this case it was okay. The first one I actually got is like this really cool like kids book of The Wizard of Oz. It's an old library book so it's a little bit rough but the art is amazing. Like. Let me, I just flicked through it in the op shop and I found so many cool pictures. Like, this is what the flying monkeys look like. They're so cool. And like, um, where's the, where's the, I saw this really cool picture. Like, this is what the scarecrow looks like. It's just like really cool art and so I decided that I wanted it. Here's the scarecrow. Here's the scarecrow one I saw and I was like oh, that's so cool. Like such a, a different kind of perspective on Wizard of Oz. So it's pretty. I'm happy to have it. I also, my sister found this one. 
Um, this lyric for Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. So this is like the novella that goes with the King Krilla Chronicles. Um, I couldn't remember when we were in the shop whether I actually had this already because I know I read the ebook originally, but I couldn't remember whether I'd then managed to source the physical book, which is a problem I have. And it turns out I didn't have it, so now I do have it, which is good because I really like this story, even though it's a little bit weird. Oh, look, it's got a present in it. Ooh, somebody went to Australia. Um, that's the fun of op shop things. So I'm excited that I managed to get that. I also bought this other one, and this is probably the one where I have the least argument for why I bought it. I almost bought the next one in the series as well, but I put it back, so I'm sort of good. Um, I ended up buying The Painted Man by Brett. Peter V. Brett. Why would you have a first name as a surname? This, I don't really know much about it. I looked on Goodreads. It has four and fives. I'm sure I've seen Peter V. Brett mentioned as a good author, although I always get him confused with Brent Weeks. But maybe if I read one of their books, I won't be confused. It was only $2, so why not? And these other, these two, this one was $2 as well. This, 50 cents. So I shouldn't have had a book haul, but there's a little book haul. Uh, in terms of reading, I picked up, I was going to read before I had a nap. I was going to read, but instead I had a nap. But I did read a couple of pages of Dry by Neil Shusterman and Jared Shusterman, which I believe is his son. I've never read anything by Neil Shusterman before, but this is my sister's book and I borrowed it. I actually bought this for my family's Christmas Secret Santa and then nobody bought presents except for my sister and so we ended up just swapping presents and this was the book that I had bought to put in that because I had a few people were talking about it around Christmas time and I thought it looked interesting and something that my cousins might like and now I get to read it. So that worked out well for me. Um, I, I don't know much about it other than um, all the water stops in the city. There's no water. Um, my sister and my cousin have read it, so once I read it, I can have a good discussion with them. Um, so that's going to be my next physical book. I'll probably take it. I was going to try and read it today, but that's not going to happen. So I guess I will take it away with me on holiday. I probably won't vlog much when, while I'm away on holiday by the way. Um, in terms of audiobooks, I did when I was driving back from dropping my sister off, um, I started reading, oh wait, let me explain. So this, you'll see that it doesn't really fit within the readathon because it's called Dry. However, if you look closely, you'll see it says, what will you do when the taps run dry? So it has the word what on the cover, so I'm gonna like shoehorn it into the readathon as kind of counting. I don't have many books with the right words in them so we just we're cheating. Um, also the next one doesn't fit at all so audiobook I picked up The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza there's none of the buzzwords in that either however I found out about this book through Books and Lala's channel and a while ago she did Lalathon reading books that were her favourite books and I wasn't able to do that because I was busy and this isn't one of her favourite books but I know it's a book that she liked so I'm going to read it as part of the Buzzword Readathon even though it doesn't count. That's what I'm going to do so um, I have listened so far to about an hour and a half and I'm really enjoying it. It's about this girl who was the product of a virgin birth and now seems to be able to heal people but it's quite like modern and she's quite young and it's just I'm quite enjoying it so we will see how that goes I don't know how much I'll be able to listen to it while I'm away because you can't really make other people listen to your audiobooks in the car well you can but I probably won't anyway as I said I think bedtime is coming quicker than I would like so I should really get on with doing the things that I need to do tonight see if I can sneak in some reading and check in with you later
Good morning, just a quick update before I head off on a trip and who knows when I will come back to this vlog, but I will come back. Uh, I wanted to update you on last night's reading. So last night I was reading dry and I made it up to page 142. It makes such a difference to be reading a book that has like proper English and a proper narrative flow. Like this book is not, not perfect, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's quite a freaky situation. It's got me like last night I was having survivalist dreams, like trying to work out how I was going to survive. But I will say just before I went to sleep last night, um, there was the introduction of this new character called Jackie. And she seems not very realistic. I think she's going to be a problem. But I still like the other characters and the way that they're dealing with the situation that is going on. Hopefully during my holiday I can finish this off because um, I've only got, it's like 400 pages so I've got maths 250 pages to go. I don't think that should take me that long considering how quickly I was able to get through the first 150 pages. Oh, I'm, it feels so much better to be reading books that are well written or at least written how I like books to be written. Um, other than that, I didn't listen to any more of The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza. So, yes, it's Friday morning. I'm going on a trip. I'll probably catch up with you again maybe Saturday. Maybe not till Sunday because we'll see. But I will definitely include some footage of my holiday um, so you can see the beautiful beach that we're going to. So I am back from holiday. Hopefully I included some footage so you can see how lovely it was. I had a great time. I think I read, got dry here, I read some while I was on holiday so I'm on page 240. I think I nearly read 100 pages which is pretty good for on holiday because I always find it's quite hard to fit in reading time while I'm on holiday because like there's holiday things to do and so reading isn't important and that's fine. Um, but not so good when you're trying to get through for a readathon, but like priorities, holidays come first. So we had a great time uh, and I'm gonna try and finish this off this afternoon. I should be able to, it's not that much to go and it's a quick read as I've said. And then I'll maybe give my thoughts about it. Uh, also, while I was on holiday, I stopped at this hospice shop, which was massive and it had this special room, I'll put in a picture of like the special room for books and even like a little sub room for young adult books. It was almost like a library. I was very restrained though and I only bought two books. One is like a worky type book. It's called The Art of Facilitation. You probably don't care about that but I think it'll be cool to read. Um, and also I got Wizard of the Grove by Tanya Huff. So I quite like Tanya Huff. Um, oh there's another present in here. Where did it go? Ooh, oh, that's the receipt for when I bought it. Um, so it's only $2 for each of these books. So that is a pretty good deal. Um, I think I've wanted to read this for quite a while. So I will add it to my shelf and we will read it at some point. So there's been a few books hauled in this, which normally I don't really buy books lately. But anyway, I am... I've got lots to do this afternoon as well, like unpacking and working out what I'm doing with my life. Um, but I will check in with you once I finish this. Hi, so quick update. I was just putting a whole bunch of my old books up on Trade Me to sell. Uh, and while I was doing that, I finished listening to um, The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza. I actually was really confused. I thought I had way more to go. It was because I changed the remaining time to say the elapsed time at some point. And so I thought I had the elapsed time remaining and then I suddenly realized I only had like 20 minutes left rather than seven or eight hours left which was a bit mind-blowing um but then it finished up really quick after that 
Uh, I really enjoyed it actually. I was surprised how much I liked it considering it kind of gets into religion and it's not very clear at the end why things happened the way they did. But what I really liked, which is going to be weird, is I really liked the romance because there was this emphasis on the idea that you should get to know people in real life rather than just crushing on your perceived notion of what they might be like, which I think is a lot of the time what I hate about romance is that people just so quickly fall into being in love when they don't even know the person. So yeah, in the end I I really enjoyed it and I thought it was pretty good. As far as dry, I have read a little bit more. I think <laughs> I lost my bookmark somewhere along the way, but I'm on page 327. Things are a bit crazy, um, but I think I'm going to go do some exercise and then I might have a bath and finish this off. So I should definitely finish it off today. Definitely. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so it is bedtime on Sunday night means the readathon is finished. I just finished dry so good work me. I will say I guess I really liked a lot of the like the situation in this book but I do think that the particular characters we followed had quite an extreme adventure and I kind of wish that we'd followed more of a normal experience. Like there are these little snapshot chapters between some of the main chapters that follow other random characters and share their experience and I actually found some of their experiences more interesting. I think the problem is that all the characters that we followed seem to be focused on winning themselves a position of power in the group rather than focused on survival and people who put power above purpose piss me off so I didn't particularly like any of the characters so even when big things happened uh, I didn't care as much as I think I was supposed to but I still enjoyed it Definitely, I think tomorrow I'm going to go and buy some emergency water. So, it's had an impact on my life. I guess that's something. So, to summarize, I think quickly before I finish this readathon blog, I'm going to summarize the things that I read this week and how I did with the readathon. So, firstly, I read The Steel Prince by V. E. Schwab, which is part of the Shades of Magic series. Um, this doesn't fit with the readathon at all, but it turned up in my letterbox, so how could I not read it? Even though it wasn't perfect, I am excited for the rest of that series. Then, what did I finish next? I think the next one I finished was another audiobook, which is What Happened That Night? Was that what it was called? Oh dear Penny, your memory is terrible. What Happened That Night by Sandra Block. Um, you can't see that. Looks like that. Um, I've read that. It was quite an intense story about suicide and rape and revenge. When I think back on it, the main thing I think is that none of the revenge plots seemed particularly realistic. But I did really like the romance. So that's something. My battery's running out. Can I finish this before then? Probably not, but we'll try. Um, also, I read What Becomes of the Broken Hearted by Alan Duff, which is the sequel to Once Were Warriors. I found it a bit of a struggle and ultimately a bit disappointing. So there's that one. I also read or listened to The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza uh, by Sean David Hutchinson. I really enjoyed it. I think actually in both of the audiobooks I listened to, the romance was my favorite thing, which was very surprising because I don't normally like romance. And then of course, the last thing I read was Dry, which I just talked to you about. So overall, I didn't actually finish all the things I wanted to read, but I think it was a pretty successful readathon. So I will do a wrap up video where I talk about all the books in a bit more detail with a bit more thought, but 
I guess thank you for watching the vlog. Let me know if you participated in the Buzzword Readathon, how it went for you. Uh, and I guess I will see you later.